Hello, welcome to the FYE podcast. I am your host, Alan Morales, and I'm here with my co host, Aaron Reyes. And today's topic is going to be uh, group projects, and we're going to be focusing on the ones that normally you don't get to pick your partners. So, how do, how do you normally approach uh, when you don't know the person, uh, when they don't do the work, and how do you keep up communication with them, right? Well, first, yeah, let's start off with how, how do you approach it, right? Yeah. So, so in, in a class, usually it's your, it's going to be like the level 1,000, 2,000 yeah. classes that you need to be in a group project because it's part of the curriculum, but... Uh, if you don't know the person very well or at all, uh, start off by introducing yourself, um, and you can go through the simple way of doing that on campus, right? Hi, what's your name? What's your major? Everyone yeah, that's that. the simple yeah. stuff. Yeah. And you, you, you kind of get to not know them, but I think we have in our minds like the different kind of people, like, oh, they're a math major, okay, they're like this, or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're psychology, okay. Okay, I know what. And that's maybe that's not super fair, but it it helps giving you an idea just, just to start at least. Now, I will say that I, I wish I normally approach those things. Um, the way I usually approach um, group project when I don't know anybody, um, of course I say hi, my name is Alan. And most of the time they do ask me like, what's your major? But most of the time they're like, okay, when are you free? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. that's enough. And they leave. And I'm like, oh, okay, that doesn't work. Um, so what I've been doing lately is, um, I ask them, of course, their names, um, and what what are their free times. But also, I ask them like what platform of communication they prefer. Um, most of the time, we like let's say from four people, there there is a similar one, so we do it that way, and that is the way I approach it like at the beginning. But it, it does change from like class to class, or just doing this the whole time that we have. Mm-hmm. The way I have to approach the people changes drastically in a way. Um, mainly in the way we communicate. Uh, some people, you start talking to them and you send them a message like, hey, when are you free? And they answer me like the next day. And they're like, oh, sorry, I didn't see it. I'm pretty sure they saw it. Um, or <laughs> that's, I have done that. Yeah, yeah he so <laughs> The communication is some of the time is still there. Um, but when that happens, I try to find them in class because mm-hmm. normally yeah. you have them like twice a week. And I'm like, hey, uh, what happened? I thought uh, you were free these days. And most of the time they're like making like family things. And I, I, I want to believe them because we do have family. We care for them. But if it happens every single time, I... I, I... I think part of it is, especially when you text them and they don't respond until like the next day, yeah. it's because they're not in school so they don't want to be thinking about it probably yeah probably. it's like when you have an online class and you're afraid every time you log on the computer i have to check my class right oh yeah <laughs> yes. but it's just kind of like that they see the text they don't want to think about class so they're just going to push it aside <laughs> it's not a great thing to do but, but it's it's, it's a way they're coping and uh, like the workaround is like yeah approach them in class and maybe not be confrontational no, you know, but just be different. like, just reiterate, just re- uh, bring up the question again. Hey, so when are blah blah blah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and most of the time they, well, like the third time, they actually tell me like the day, and they do show up mm-hmm. eventually. But um, but that is my the way I approach it at the beginning. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. how do you well, normally approach? Like one group project I had was for an online class. We first uh. We messaged through the Blackboard message, and then we share our numbers, and we created a group chat either in different. A platform. Yeah. Yeah. It, to approach. Just probably download WhatsApp no matter what. Yes. Yeah. That, that's the that. one nobody can find. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next thing I wanted to kind of touch on is also how do you communicate with them? Because my the way I reset it, I either text them and they ignore me. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I used to call them, but I learned that nobody likes calling. No, no. No, but that's the way I work. Like, yeah, yeah. Because they can either be at work like, or have class. Yeah, but I learned so that I, people I, don't like talking anymore. I think the best way is just to find them on campus. So just ask them, <laughs> when are you on campus, rather than when are you free? Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. if they're free, they're probably not on campus. Yeah, they're probably home. When they think they're free, that they're like, yeah, they're at home. 
Yeah. Yeah. If they have maybe a break on campus, squeeze in there. Like, are you doing anything for lunch? You want to just stay on campus and talk over like a salad or something? <laughs> but it, it's like it's yeah. like that because it's it's that mindset that if I'm not in class, I don't want to think about it. It's yeah. still yes. it's still that thing. Yeah, I should. I should so, have thought about that. Also, like. like like for us, we were like, okay, when are you free? And everybody would send the times and dates. And then, okay, also we can actually meet this day, and that that should help. Mm-hmm. Too. Yeah, like most of the time, that actually does help a lot. It, a lot of it is just getting it out of the way right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, so like even if they're like, all they want to know is when you're free, sit them down. Like wait, I'm not done yet. <laughs> yeah, like mm-hmm. you got to be um, a little bit more sort of that way when you're introducing yourselves. Because um, it's it's your grade on yeah. the line. Yeah. It's so. not only there, it's also yeah. Girl. So that, that leads me to the second part, like, how do you choose who's in charge or like, who does that? Like, do you normally like, take the charge? Yeah. Or do you normally wait for someone most else of to the, get it? Yeah, most of the time, someone, someone has to take like the charge of, okay, you're going to be in charge of this, this, and this. And because if not, it'll be everything on the place. Yeah, it? no one yeah. wants to take the responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, if no one makes it clear right away, I'll... I'll fill that in just because I feel like someone has to, yes. and it's not because I want to, but it's just because like if you don't do it, you don't yeah. Know. If someone else wants to take the lead and they want because they want to do something specific, that that's fine with me too. I'll let that happen. Like it, it's just a matter of getting things rolling because mm-hmm. the longer you don't have a leader, the longer it's gonna take to finish that grade, and then the longer it's gonna. Not only that, but I I noticed that whenever um, in my experience we had to like get a group project. Everybody would just stay quiet. Like they wouldn't be like, okay, you do this, you do that. They're like, so who wants to do what? Like, so I learned that if you take the charge, you are not only giving them the job, but you are the one that has to keep on it. Like you have to send them a message like, hey, how's this going? Hey, mm-hmm. have you done this? So yeah. it is a lot of responsibility, and most of the time the leader ends up doing like at least forty percent of the job. It's, it's you, yeah, but you you do it in a way that you make it sound like you're asking them. No, like, you, 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 but like throughout the whole process of yeah. it, right? Like, mm-hmm. so it's like, hey, so you're doing this. How's it going, right? And mm-hmm. it's it, you just you're bringing it up in a way that's like casual. That's not feeling like you're pressuring them. Yeah. Like, yes. But it's also reminding them, like, hey, we have this thing. Yeah, you're gonna, so you're gonna do that, right? You have to find a way to be passive. <laughs> like, you cannot yeah. just be pushing them because. Yeah. And that's what I meant. Like, so like if you're taking that leader role, like the first thing you do if you are gonna be setting up roles, you said I'm like. All right, we have to have an introduction. Uh, do you want to take care of that mm-hmm. for me? And like you're asking them without asking them because you're yes. pointing them out. And instead of asking the group who wants to do that, you you've already like mm-hmm. kind of chosen yeah. someone. Oh. If they say no, then that's fine. You can say okay, well then you can do the introduction. Yeah, so it, it's a uh, the way you put it. It's yeah. simple. Like normally you just like okay, you do this, I'm out. Like, mm-hmm. and that's probably why there's sometimes like fluctuations in the work project but um the way that whenever i talk to the people mm-hmm. and whenever we meet up i notice that it, even if you meet up if you don't bring up the work they're just gonna be talking like i i also have done it like i get together and then we start talking so job doesn't get done so i learned that whenever you do a group project other than actually showing up like bring up the stuff that you need and go start with the project right away don't sit down and start talking because you're going to lose time yeah. and also if you don't know what to do or how to approach something it's you can ask your teammates like yes it's your job to finish this part but take input from someone else like hey i don't know if i should be putting this here uh, what do you think mm-hmm. so because it is a group project so yeah. also get information from other people and th- i think that's the point of, of it right is being able to communicate with your partners so it's not about if you can do this part. And it, I think that's, it's like that in, in like real world also when you get a job. It's not always the person who can do the job the best. It's who can work the best with the team. Mm-hmm. Because probably 9 out of 10 times you're going to end up in a team. With it's, people you don't know at all. Yeah. So even you eventually get to know them. But even then it's still like they're changing. They yeah. either change jobs or you get promoted or you go somewhere else. Right. It's, yeah. it's always going to be changing. So it's how you are a team it's like basketball right you need you need to have that communication yeah yeah um, one of when i used to work in mcdonald's one of my managers would always say um teamwork makes the drink work and if you think about it it does <laughs> yeah that makes, that makes a lot of sense yeah. so 
Uh, what so, are your experiences with like whenever they give you something? Like whenever they give you a role, like do you take it right away even if you don't know how to do it, or do you normally like tell them, hey, I don't I, know how to do it, like give me something else? I haven't had. Um, I only had two experiences with group projects, and they haven't been bad experiences. We actually do communicate a lot, and eventually someone takes a role and then they'll keep up with everybody sends reminders oh how is you doing do you need any help and it, it's been good okay so you actually had a pretty good experience mm -hmm. right? yeah. so what about you the hardest part has always just been getting started as a group right because usually in, in group projects it's kind of a big project but if you think about it for four people it's probably not bad it's yeah. simple but it's also that means that the professor will put it at the end of the month or like give you a long deadline so a lot of the thought is just like well we have time I think and then that, quickly mm -hmm. the time runs out not only that i think the teacher knows you're gonna slack yeah. so they're like okay i'm giving you a month or sometimes even two but i think i think that's that's <coughs> kind of detrimental it's that's the test of it right is how yeah like can you work together? How quick can you work together? And how good of a product you can get? Because yeah. it's likely you can probably get most projects done in a week. But but of course, like you're working with other people's schedules, you're working with just how they can communicate, how they work together. How fast they, mm -hmm. how knowledgeable of the topic they are. Because sometimes yeah. you have to even spend a week together to find what you want to mm -hmm. write or how you're gonna write it. Um, you can you can even make friends and then. Like your group, pro your group projects. I still talk to one of my first semester group, and we've become really good friends. And you, you, you never know; they can help you with within the long run too. Yeah, I forgot about the people I work with. Uh, <laughs> I, I had, a, had a group in my English class. We were like the, the, the misfit toys. Like everyone else got into groups, and we were like the last ones there mm -hmm. in the back of the class. Like oh, I guess we're together. That's it. But I still have a friend from that group. Yeah, I I know one of them. Like one of the four. Also in English class, we were like the bike, mm -hmm. and nobody took us, so we're like, hi. <laughs> so, and it's true, I, at least you get to know one person, and you're friends with. Yeah. But, um... And that, that can help. You, you, like, it doesn't happen always that quick in the group. If it does, that's great. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it doesn't just yeah, work. It, because it, it's good to have that ally. I think that's why when you do get to choose a project partner, you want to choose your friends, because you can be on each other as honest as possible, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, hey, I need that now. Like, <laughs> like, <snaps. laughs> like yes. I know you're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. But when you're, like, still getting to know the person, you have to be a little bit more cordial, you have to be more nice. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Hey, how is that coming along? <laughs> you have to smile. I don't want a B. I want an A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. So, let, some tips that you will give to, like, the listeners and viewers. Let's say that you have your group project doing two weeks. Let's be nice. Two weeks, and there's uh, one person already got everything done. You got your part halfway there, mm -hmm. and the other two people are barely starting. How mm -hmm. do you approach the situation in a way that doesn't make them do it like halfway, like not putting enough effort, but also not pushing them like to get them mad? How yeah. Do you no, it? Yeah. Um, I I think you kind of reiterate where everyone's at, right? So you talk to the person that's finished, you, you, you tell them, I'm halfway done. I know these two over here are just getting started. Maybe at some point we can jump in and help them. Mm -hmm. Just so we can just like move it along. Like, mm -hmm. The goal in the day isn't only your part, it's getting the whole oh, project done. Because yes. sometimes, sometimes you get individual grades for group work, but sometimes... It's a one. Mm -hmm. one, well. one grade is the whole group's grade. So no matter, even if they're not being cooperative, the two that are, haven't started yet, you gotta you gotta put yourself out there to yeah. make sure that your grade is as good as it can be. I think, uh, in my personal experience, I'm, I will not lie, um, I sometimes am the one that is very starting, but I also notice that in group projects, a lot of people take it individual. I, for my side, I have done projects and I'm like, hey, I'm done, see ya. Um, and I, it never crossed my mind, or not that often, like to approach them and be like, hey, how can I help you? Because most of the time, I don't see them. Mm -hmm. So whenever I finish my part, I leave it to them, and whatever happens, happens. But I think it, it's a good idea to like approach them and be like, hey, can I please, in a way, like, please let me help you so my grade doesn't yeah. suffer. It, it's, it's good, it, it, cause it can be frustrating yeah. waiting on their part. I, I've been there, definitely, but... 
I think you just got to look past it. And no matter how frustrating it can be or how mm-hmm. frustrating they've been. Because there are real life problems that they're going through that you can't yeah. see on the surface level, right? They come to school maybe every day, but maybe they're going through something at home. Yeah. Or maybe they're just not in the mindset. But at the end of the day, it's still your grade and it's still like, it can only help you if you learn how to talk to them and how to get them. Approach them. Yeah. It, it's only going to make you a better teammate in the, for the future. So for an introvert, let's say, um, what kind of a help will you, well, tips on how to talk to the people? Because I know that a lot of people are shy. And even if they're having trouble or if they really don't know what to do, they won't approach their teammates nor the teacher. They just stays. Mm-hmm. So how do you, how will we help them, like, be more at least out there in in ways to get help? Because I know we have the learning center. Mm-hmm. I know the teachers are always willing to help, but I know that a lot of introverts don't don't want to ask for help because then people will, well, they think people will look at them weird. Um, like, how would, what tips would you give them? Mm-hmm. Well, constant communication. Like, oh, how are you doing in this part? Do you need any help? Or... If, if they're more comfortable mm-hmm. over text, then, then make that their their main ally. So, like, even if they see the person in class, maybe they rush out, right, just to avoid mm-hmm. seeing yeah. them. And maybe that's that's something they're working on or not. Right now, it's up to them. But find whatever is most comfortable. Because maybe, maybe even texting is, like, a little bit anxious, right? It makes yeah. you anxious. But... You, you still need to, on some level, be there. It, it's not always physically there, but it, as long as like you let them know, I if you need something, I'm gonna try. No, oh, so in a way, just at least making yourself somewhat available. Yeah, be make time for them. At least in a way, if you have breaks, mm-hmm. let them know like, hey, if you need help in this, just I have this time. Let me know anytime. Mm-hmm. And if they if they don't send me send you a text, at least send them one and be like, yeah. hey. How's it going? This, yeah, I would say commit to two texts where you say that, yes. right? So at the very beginning, you, you start off by saying, if these are my times that I'm on campus, if you absolutely need it, I'm here. Mm-hmm. And then you remind them again, like halfway through or like close to the end, right? I'm still here if, if you yes. need that help. And mm-hmm. that that's the most you do. That's still something that's better than just staying quiet right. and doing your part and leaving. Yeah, because, and then like we even reiterated, like repeating people, um, everybody has their own life. Mm-hmm. Um, you only know them for like this part that you see them, so you don't really you see them know what's going on. Three hours every week, maybe. Mm-hmm. Even if you're lucky. Yeah. So, yes. Sometimes <laughs> they don't show up to class. Um, yeah. And just, in a way, just be polite. You just know that, yes, it's a group project, but it takes effort. Sometimes more from others than the rest, but effort is going to get you through in a way. Yeah. Be patient. Learn how to be patient. Yeah, it's 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 not like having a baby, but it's, it feels like it. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. like okay, a baby or they're, in a really big relationship. <laughs> you, you have to just understand, like they're maybe put it in your head. Maybe they're going through something, or maybe yeah. that's just how they work. Mm-hmm. But they're they made it to college, which means something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they made it here, so they yeah. don't have to work. Um, so just to close this up, um, be polite. Mm-hmm. Don't. Yes, you can ask them a question, but don't be rude. Ask them because they have time. Things going on. Um, when you assign a role, make sure that you know what your role is and try to finish. If you have any questions, ask the teacher, your partners, anybody. There, there's always someone willing to help you. And if someone is lacking off, don't don't get mad at them. Like just suck it up and <laughs> try and help them out. Put your ego yeah. aside yes. and just think about your grade. If, if you get an A, that's all that matters at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also that you, you learn how to be a teammate, but still. Yeah. <laughs> and in the, also, in the end, you might have a month or two, but time flies. So the sooner you get started, the better. The better. And the sooner you get finished, the better. You don't yeah. have to stress anymore. Yeah. Just uh, get on it. Don't hesitate to put yourself out there, either that you're available for them or if you need the help from them. Ask them. Yes. Yeah. Speak up. Yeah. So oh, any last tips? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Well, thank you for listening. This can just stay at least. Bye.
flourishing, though, because the things that you said, I think they crossed my mind once. It went 21 minutes. What? We had 21 minutes.